Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit Structure. In this lesson, I want to teach you three tools and these are the tools which separates the amateur and the professionals when it comes to 3D river modeling in Revit Structure. So from here, you see that this is the model that I'm going to be using. Okay, as you can see, if I just try to orbit. Now, if you want to know on how to create such a model, make sure that you check the video on the card above. This is the video where we created this frame that you are seeing right here. Now, in this lesson, we are going to do look at three things. These are the tools that we are going to look at. The first one is the creation of the 3D river that you are seeing here. I'll show you on how to do it in a proper way. The second one is how to constrain the river so that when you copy the river from, you know, to a different size with different dimensions, it's still going to adapt. And that is the power of Revit. You want to copy the river from this one. You can see that within the frame here are different sizes. And if you just constrain the river and you try to copy to these others with different you know, dimensions, it will still adapt. OK, as I've mentioned, that is the power of Revit. OK, the other thing that we are going to look at, we are going to use the proper copy feature in Revit 2023, the one which you can use in previous versions. You just use the normal copy. It still works. But in Revit 2023, I want to show you the copy feature which you have, which is called Propagate. And that's the one we are also going to use. We have a similar tool for the, you know, for the connections. We are also going to propagate the connections to these other, you know, to these other columns. Okay. Now, I just want to ask all of you, make sure that you don't just watch the video. Make sure that you like the videos and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. That way you are going to motivate me to do more and more lessons on this channel. And for anyone who'd like to learn Revit structure from start to finish in a course without skipping anything, make sure that you check the link in the description and also the first comment. You are going to like the video. Okay. So without wasting much of your time, let's go and get started in this lesson. So as you can see, that is the river that I created. So I just want to delete everything here. So you see how we can do it. I'll start with the connection, delete there, then select the river like that. Then click on filter, check none, structure river, apply OK and delete from my keyboard. You have to see how to do it from scratch. OK, now the first thing that you need to do is to simply cut sections. If I go to level one here, that is the one I created the river on this one. You just create that section, that section. To create a section simple, just go to view section. I will demonstrate on this one, just the first point. Make sure that I'll just escape first of all, so that you see that I pick this one. We have building section and the detail. I'll use the building section, pick that point and that point. Okay, you can also go to the section. You know, if you want, you can even use the detail and pick that point and that point. That's how I created, you know, the sections here that you are seeing. Okay, so we have section one and section two. I've already opened here. Section one is this one. Okay, and that is the detail that I created. And section two is right here. So I'll go to section one. Let's get started with the creation of the 3D river. Okay. So to create the river on the base here, simply select on that base, then river. Okay, just click on OK. Then make sure that you go under the river shape, you know, browser. Make sure that you pick the shape code that you want to use. For me, I'm just going to scroll up there and make sure that I pick, you know, this shape code right here, which is shape code 21. I'll select on it. And for the base, I just want to use H12. So I'll pick H12 here. Okay, so if I hover my cursor there, see that I'm having rib, the river like that, but I, I want to change this one to parallel to work plane so that I start with this one. If I just click the first point there, just escape, you see that I have the first bar. Okay, let me go to the 3D view. You see that I have all the three bars there. Now, if you place one bar and for example, I'll just click on it, you find that you just have one bar. Make sure that you come here. You see that if I change to single, you are just going to have one bar. But make sure that you come here, maximum spacing. Make sure that you specify the spacing. I'm going to use 200. Click inside. You see that I have the bars like that. I'll go back to the section there and create the bars in the perpendicular direction. I'll simply select that bar, then right click, create similar. 
just cancel there then what i'm going to do i'll pick perpendicular this time okay and just move my cursor inside there as you can see so if i just pick click like that then modify you see that i have the perpendicular bus now this is not how i want my bus to be and before i start changing this one i'll first of all select on this bar just select on it okay then i'll go to the i just want to override the hooks click there override hook lens and go down here i want to change a and c i want to change this one maybe to maybe 200 i also want to change c to 100 also move my cursor inside then is has it changed click let me select once once again on it have i selected override okay make sure that you click on override then select there then 100 right here and on c i also want to have 100 move my cursor there you see it's going to shorten okay so this is how i want my bar to be now if i select the other bar there i can do the same and override make sure that you click on hook override okay where is the two just want to check it it's already checked so you can see that a is 100 and also c is 100 so this is how i want to be so if i go to the 3d view you see that i have the bars there go back there and make sure that i fix this one because there's a collision there now this is where you are going to use the rebar constraints okay so if i just select on that bar i can just use my mouse you know to drag it okay but that's not the tool that i want to use i can move it up and down what i want to use are the rebar constraints i'll click on constraints okay so once you do that the starting line i want to move is this one and the other line i want to check the distance between this line and this line so we first pick the first line and the second line then you can change that dimension there i want this one to to be maybe negative 12 click inside then click on finish you see that it's going to move up there and it's constrained if the size changes for this base okay it's still going to adapt to the size of the base that you have created anywhere else okay so the other thing i need to fix is to just select on that rebar and simply just drag it inside because i don't want that collision and pick that other one move it inside just like that so go to the 3d view you can see that i have the base right there i'll go back to the section and i'll simply you know first of all before i do that i'll select on that one and make sure that i constrain the other side so I'll simply click on edit constraints i'll pick that face and that face i want it to be zero so that it's that is the cover i want it to align it there so i'll click on finish then i'll do the same on the other sides i just want to make sure that all the sides are constrained make sure that you pick the center okay it's at center and that face i want it to be zero then click on finish click outside i can go to the other section section two and make sure that everything is okay by checking that one edit constraints then pick the center and that face i want it to align perfect there then click on finish and also do the same on the other one select on it i just want to make sure that you know everything is perfect select that line and that line zero is okay and click on finish so i'm sure that i've constrained you know the river like that now what i need to do is to just copy on top and it's going to go with all the constraints that i have so i'll select on that one hold control select on that one then i'm just going to use you know draw axis for me to mirror and pick the center and that one you see that it's going to be mirrored like that if i go to the 3d view you see that i have all the bars so this is the best way of you know modeling the river and also making sure that you constrain the river that way if you start copying to a different you know size it will still adapt without a problem okay now let's create you know the bars within the the column there i'll go back to section one okay select the column there then click on river okay then i need to pick the shape code that i want to use for the stir up okay or the link so i'll pick shape code 52 and from here i want to change to h8 then if i move my cursor there you see that at perpendicular current work plane and expand to host it's working so i can simply click there then click on modify then select on that and simply drag it up to somewhere there and click okay so if i go to the 3d view 
you see that I have the bars and the colors are perfectly applied. I'll go back to section one and you know, you know, create or model the longitudinal bars. I'll pick the column there, then the ribbon. I'm just going to pick the shape code that I want. I want to use shape code zero. Then for this one, I want to use H16. Okay. Then I'll use the sketch. Once you pick on the sketch, pick on the column, you are in the sketch mode. Then I can simply click or start it from here. Then click the bottom up to somewhere here. Then in that direction, I just want to go by maybe 600. Enter. Escape. Cancel. And then go up there. And I want to start it from there. Maybe I just want to have even 100. Okay. Then enter. Then click on finish. Okay. You see that you have the bar right there and modify. Let me check it in the 3D view. You see that that is just one bar. So I can even select it from here and, you know, change it to fixed number. And I want to maybe three is okay. I'll leave it. Click outside. You see that you have the three bars. Okay. I'll go back to the section and simply mirror it on the other side. But before I do that, I can even, you know, constrain this one. That is a good practice. Okay. Make sure that you select on that bar. Again, click on edit constraint. Then from that center, maybe to, to which one, maybe to, to that one. I have two lines. I'm happy where it is. So I'll simply click on finish. Then I've constrained it. I've fixed it between that line and that line. Click outside. Okay. If I want, I can even constrain it on top. Okay, then edit constraints, then pick that line and that line and finish. Okay, click outside. I can do the same on the other side. Okay, but I think it's adequately constrained. I'll pick that one and I want it to be where it is and click on finish. Okay, then I can select on that bar and just pick, you know, that mirror tool and click there. And you see that it's on the other side. So if I go to the 3D in view there, you see that I have all the bars and everything is there. So this is how you are going to, you know, to make sure that you model your 3D ribbon and make sure that you constrain. That way, if you try to copy the bars using the propagate feature, in Revit 2023, everything will be perfect. It's going to adapt no matter, you know, how the size or different sizes for these are. Okay. So from here, you see that the length for this one, for that column is different to this one. And these bases, the thicknesses. So you see that as I start copying, it's going to adapt. Now, before we start copying, I want also to create, you know, the, the connection there. I'll simply pick on the column, then go to, you know, to steal, then connection. Okay, now if you want to see a full video on how to do a connections, the workflow, make sure that you watch this video here. This is the one where you can see step by step on how to create any kind of connection. You need to understand the workflow. But for this one, I will not you know, go in details on how to adjust everything. But I want to show you that once you select on the column, pick on that connection, you are going to have that generic connection there in the middle there, as you can see from here. Then I can just click there and make sure that I switch it with the actual connection, which is the base plate. I'll select on it and click outside. You can see the connection is here. Make sure that you are just at fine level of detail. If you don't see the connection, then it will appear. Okay, so we are done with everything here. Now let's start the propagate feature. Okay, to propagate your connection, just select on the connection, right click. Then you have the propagate connection right here. So you see from here that it you, you need to give it a bit of time. As you can see, it doesn't take long. I've propagated all the connections there on those. As you can see, all the connections are right here. So in Revit 2023, and before I go to Revit 2023, let me show you that in Revit 2022 and previous old versions, you are still going to copy your connections and all the features that I've explained here are there in Revit 2022 and the previous versions except for the propagate feature for the river. So how you are going to copy the reinforcement in the previous versions is to simply make sure that you select the connections like that, then make sure that you filter, check none, and pick the structure river, apply, okay. Then go to a plan view. I'll go to that level. You see that the connection is, the selection is still there. You simply pick on copy there and simply 
just click there and you are able to copy it to a different member okay click on modify go to the 3d view you see that you are going to still copy it like that okay the only a little bit of uh, you know a disadvantage with this one is that you have to make sure that you create the rib buffer for each different you know type okay for each different size so that it's going to fit properly within the other one if i try to copy this one for example if i just select you know this bars there again filter check none structural ribber apply okay if i go to that level and try to copy it to this one which is a smaller one i'll click on copy this is for, I'm, I'm showing you if you are using revit 22 or the old versions this is the method if i try to copy it to a smaller size it's not going to fit is it going to fit you see that it's, this is what you are going to get so you need to start adjusting so for 20, Revit 2022 and the previous versions, make sure that you just create one of a similar type, then you copy to the similar ones, then you create another one, you copy to the similar ones, okay? But in Revit 2023, we have the propagate feature. You know, you just have to create one. It doesn't matter the size. And that goes for the beams, you know, the columns and everything, okay? You just create one and you need to be copying to the similar ones by similar ones i mean if it's a beam it's a beam a column column but the size doesn't matter okay so i'll just undo this one and now propagate you know the river here and the secret is for you to make sure that you constrain the river if you don't constrain then you are going to have something which happened like this okay the river will pop out outside like that so since we constrain the river of course if we've missed something we'll fix it as we are going to see so you just select on the base then click on propagate let me try this one okay it's perfect because the same size if i go to the other one you see i start clicking okay this one the thickness is different as you can see i'll simply click you know this one is thinner you know this one is different size if i go to the other one all these are different sizes so you can see that it's as simple as that okay it's as simple as that you just be clicking even if it's a different size it will still propagate without a problem uh, without a problem so what you need to do is to just click on finish if i click there and try to orbit okay so you can see that we have the ribbon there did i miss anything okay everything is there okay now i just miss the columns there so what i'm going to do for propagate you pick i pick the base but I didn't pick the column you are going to propagate for example i picked this one you propagate so for the column again you just pick on it then click on propagate and for the columns this one is longer than this one so even if the the height is different i pick that one it will still adapt and the secret is the river constraint so that's how professionals do it if you're an amateur you will not pro you know constrain the river and you are going to have a lot of challenges or you know so make sure that you constrain your river and once you start doing this it will be you know you can finish modeling in a matter of seconds and you know this is a model you know everything is there and you can start creating your schedules you know detailing so revit has now become very very powerful and i encourage you to make sure that if you're using autoguard slowly start moving to revit because revit is the future when it comes to you know to modeling and detailing so as you can see everything is there i have the river the colors are there everywhere i can go there and try to orbit we have everything so this is the proper way of modeling your river and also constraining and copying it so if you like what i'm doing on this channel make sure that you subscribe to this channel and please turn on the bell notification and more importantly subscribe to this channel so see you in the next lessons as i show you more and more lessons on this channel